Hi everybody, this is Vaughn at Pick Punch, and uh, yeah, I had a lot of requests to show uh, or make a video on how to make uh, our uh, image embedded guitar picks, and what these basically are, um, they're about 1.6, 1.7 millimeter thick picks with an image embedded inside, and it's a permanent image, it, uh, you know, it doesn't wear, like a lot of picks, if you have something printed on the outside, it doesn't uh, ever fade, so very simple process. I'll just get a quick rundown how do you make them. But uh, basically punch out uh, two uh, picks out of, I use the polycarbonate sheeting. Um, and uh, so basically you have two uh, picks punched out and uh, you get something like a uh, cartoon image out of the newspaper um, or a water slide um, tattoo. Those work great. So. Anyway, what you do, you get uh, get your two picks, and you use uh, some super glue. This is just some standard super glue, and um, you, know, you peel off the uh, the paper on these uh, on the picks, the protective cut coating. Completely cover the pick with super glue. Put the image down on it. Then you want to completely cover the image with uh, super glue, and then you put the other pick on top of it. And uh, next thing you want to do is sort of press it together, and you'll see some of the bubbles will migrate out to the edge. So what I do to make sure that uh, it stays uh, together, uh, basically I just clamp it uh, with a piece of paper and a small little clamp or a, a paper binder, something like that. So anyway, you uh, let this sit overnight, and what you end up with is... Well, honestly, it's a mess. So the paper sticks to it because of the super glue. So you know, the uh, the guitar picks are cloudy looking because the where the super glue touches the uh, the outside of the pick, um, it uh, actually melts it. Um, so anyway, after you rip this paper off, first thing you got to do is sand the milky surface off and get your bevels looking right. So. I use flapper wheels. You can use, you can do this by hand. It's going to take you forever, um, but I've done quite a few by hand. But uh, again, you just go in here and you want to uh, sand the flat surface. I use a, uh, a fine flapper wheel. You could start with a medium and then go to the fine, but I just use a fine um, just through the whole process. But uh, anyway, again, you just you sand the flat sides. And then you come in and put a bevel on there. I, most of these I just do a round bevel instead of a right or left handed bevel. But um, next thing you want to do is get a buffing wheel. And you come through here and just buff the uh, pick. Um, and if, you, if there's still any cloudy appearance to it all, you'll need to go back with the flapper wheel and then rebuff it again. And um, you can use uh, lots of different materials inside, uh, like I mentioned before, the uh, water slides. Here's a close-up look at what the picks look like. I mean, these picks are super fast. They are the best-looking picks that I have found anywhere. Um, you're not going to find a better-looking pick than these. Uh, here's, here's one. It's a cartoon, one I made for my daughter. But the, basically, in the in the newspaper there was comics in this section so there was uh, comics on both sides of the paper and um, but there's one here's to see the edge of it they're they're thick they're 1.65 roughly after you're finished sanding here's another one uh, this is an image my son made and I use it was on paper uh, again try to find the thinnest paper you can um, the thinner the better Here's another comic image. Again, it was on both sides. Here are a couple water slide tattoos that I uh, embedded the exact same way. Um, again, these are uh, really great picks. Uh, give you an idea how thick these are. Here is the five picks. There's all five. They're thick. 
but they're great picks super fast great bright tone to them and uh, you're gonna love them if you have any more questions just check out our website uh, www.pickpunch.com there's more information there and uh, take care thanks